Clipper TV. Don't forget it, Clipper TV. Don't you sweat it, cause we got all your news and a few interviews, cause it's Clipper, Clipper TV. What's going on, YHS? We're back with another Clipper TV. It's been a minute. What are we up to? Uh, we started off the year by asking everyone what their New Year's resolution was. Henry, what are your New Year's resolutions? Uh, to play more chess. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Um, do my schoolwork on time. Do you have a New Year's resolution this year? No. Oh, okay. Well, that was kind of the question, but... Um, what is your New Year's resolution? Um, get a faster Nordic skiing time. Uh, could you let us know how that's going for you? Um, it's okay. It got a little bit worse, but I've made my peace with it. What is your New Year's resolution? To go shopping more. Good. Um, I was going to start flossing my teeth more. I'm actually going to work on being more zen. You know, I have all my crystals, so I'm going to start using those. What were your New Year's resolutions this year? Uh, frankly, I think New Year's resolutions are kind of overrated. Honestly, like, you should just kind of be having constant resolutions. It shouldn't take, like, a new year for you to, like, want to improve yourself. Thanks, Nick. We appreciate it. Hi, Oscar. Um, can we ask you a question for Pepper TV? What's your New Year's resolution? Uh, get huge. Next, we asked the students how they pull on Valentine's Day. Give me some pro advice on how to get a Valentine. How to get a Valentine? Yeah. Chocolate and lots of it. Bro, you just gotta boss up and just do it. Uh, just, just be nice. I mean, just shoot your shot, man. Just, just go for like it. it. I like it. The question is, how do you get a Valentine? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Ask straight up. Have confidence. Don't do it over social media. Uh, I ain't one to talk, <laughs> but that's what I would do. How do you get a Valentine? Oh, Tinder. Probably, you know, there's some good uh, <laughs> dating sites out there. How do you get a Valentine? Um, I don't know, your friends. My friends? <laughs> <laughs> Give someone a rose and ask if they accept it. You just look super cute. And, yeah. What's your best advice on how to get a valentine? Ask nicely. All right, very polite. Very polite man. Advice on how to get a valentine, boys, come on. I've yeah. already got one, but... Oh, to get a valentine. Why ask me, man? <laughs> All right, let me tell you the steps. So you say what's up. Okay, that's step one. Step two, you ask how their day was. All right, and then step three, you gotta say something cheeky, all right? What would be something that's cheeky? I'll give you an example. You hit them with like, they're like, how was your day? And like, good, but it'd be better if you were here. What's your advice on how to get a Valentine? Uh, I don't even know, man. Chillest answer we've got. You don't need one. I think you do, and it's by prolonged eye contact Whoa. in the halls. Dude, how do you pull on Valentine's Day? Probably not the guy you want to ask. Oh, do not hit this guy up. He does not know. Advice for the ladies? No. Oh, um, I'd say just get a serenade from the chorus, and that's 100% guaranteed success rate. What's your advice on how to get a Valentine? Uh, um, I'm trying to think right now. Just Come anything, on, anything. Don't you say don't take my time? Don't take your time. Don't oh. Take your time. It's a speed round. Oh, um... Give me an idea and then I'll just say it. <laughs> like, make a sign and get on your knees. Get on your knees. <laughs> um, I'd say just be yourself. That's taken. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cut that out. Just put yourself out there and... Um... Would you still date your boyfriend if he was a worm? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, well, it depends. I would say the best way to get a valentine is to listen. And then you'll find love. Last Friday was Flannel Friday for Miss King's birthday. So, yeah, we've been walking around the school noticing a lot of flannel, and we're with the queen herself, so why don't we just hear a little bit about Flannel Friday? The queen or the king, whichever one. Yeah. Um, so I came up with the idea. I hit my 65th birthday. I have had diabetes for 47 years, and I'm teaching for 44 years. And it just seemed like we needed some kind of event that would be fun. So I decided on Flannel Friday, paying 10 cents for everyone in flannel, and then all of a sudden two other 
organizations said they would match whatever I donated. But two things. One, we needed something fun in the middle of all that's happening. Two, I always like to bring awareness to diabetes because it's a disease that you can live with. And three, any kind of fundraising is a good thing to do. I have been overwhelmed with the amount of flannel that's happening because I think we had pretty close to 100%. Look at all the flannel. Today's Flannel Friday. Why, do you know why you're wearing flannel? Yeah, for Miss King. Why are you wearing flannel? I, 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 I forgot. I'm really sorry, Miss King. But that's, I got... that's kind of close. Not really. But... You know what I mean? You got the clown shoes on, though. Thanks for watching, guys.